Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Uvalux. Welcome, bienvenido crossway, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel. Today I've got this in for repair. Now, the, my friend has had this for about a month or so and um, he gave it back to me because he dropped it on its base and something happened underneath. I haven't had a proper look yet, but what I'm gonna do is just remove the tools and the hose from this Enigma. Right. And we are gonna take a closer look at this. Be with you in a second. Move you guys closer so we can see there is a lot of dust ingression on this and I don't know the reason why it would it shouldn't leak as much dust as this so let me switch it on Right, I don't know why, but there shouldn't be this much dust leaking from the bag. And the inside around here is very, very dusty, and I don't know why it should, because it shouldn't. Uh, let me just get my spray, hang on a sec. Right, so I've got my spray here and some cloths and I'm going to do a quick clean up of this. I don't know if it's been used without a bag. It doesn't seem that bad as if a bag hadn't been used but uh, for a matter of three months, it really shouldn't be in this uh, condition. So I'm going to give it a good clean up. Now luckily there isn't much dust that's got into the motor. It seems to be all in the bag, but there is a little bit of dust residue the HEPA filter at the back. Right. 
left. Let me refit this. Let me refit that. And the filter at the back. And I'm going to give the bag dual wipe over on the inside. And there's no bag full indicator on this, unfortunately. and a clean. Now I'm going to remove the hose and I'm going to lay this down flat and we can take a look at the damage done underneath. Okay, I can see the damage. Right, okay, let me get you closer. Okay, so here I have a donor enigma. And what's happened is when it's been dropped, it has broken these wheel latches completely off. So what I'm going to have to do is using the donor machine. First of all, I'm going to take off this. Which is the broken one. And I'm just taking the wheels off the donor machine. one there we go now I'm gonna put the screw back in there we go that is now fixed so I'm going to put these to one side because the wheels still could be useful on it and the clip as well. I'm going to put that, that might fall out actually, I'm going to, I'll keep it separate. So uh, let me put the donor machine to one side. Stand up this. on these are pain in the ass. There we go. There we go. I'm 
I'm just going to reattach the hose. Okay, so that's the hose reattached. Let me plug it in. Let's take it out the front and just check it. Okay, so I've given it a demo run on the floor. I've put down some fine particles with the Mad About Mess. And I want to check to see. Dust escape. A little bit. I'll put this. On. Make sure that is tightened in fast. And pop this door back on. It all seems working fine now. A little bit of a clean up. And I can send it now on its merry way. So, peoples, these machines are not very delicate. That's all I can say is be extra, extra careful with them because they're not very strong. They're a very, very good budget machine. But just like any budget machine, Vax, Hoover, Bagged, Bagless, whatever. You have to be careful with them. They will not last long if you're not careful with them. So thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed that. Just a little bit of a quick service on that and a quick repair, thankfully. Um, if you'd like to comment and subscribe, please do and like the video. I've got more and lots of videos coming up and lots done. So until the next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.